in Dairy Pump. Kindly subscribe my channel Offering Alley. Head for Primary Pump slash Head for Secondary Pump. Head for Primary Pump equals Chiller Friction Losses plus Pipe Losses for Longest Pass plus Fitting Losses. Head for Secondary Pump equals Pipe Losses for Longest Pass plus Fitting Losses plus Last Equipment in the Longest Pass, FCU or AHU. There is two way to calculate the pump head. One equivalent length method and you may found it in carrier handbook. 2K factor you will find it in Ashri. The main concept for calculation and sizing. Pipe size max velocity equals 4 FPS. Pipe size 2 dash max friction losses 4 feet WG slash 100 feet. There are many programs for pump head calculation like. HSIM, Elite, Train Pipes, Pipe Flow Expert. Example mentioned below with details. There is a difference between the pressure required from pump which is generated by the pump itself, DP, and the hydrostatic pressure generated by elevation. The first one, we considered it for moving the fluid but the second one we considered it for determining the maximum working pressure inflicted upon pipes, pumps parts, casing, mechanical seal, and all the elements in network. Example. If we calculate DP equals 5 bar required from pump to move the water with the required flow rate. These 5 BAR may be from 1 BAR to 6 BAR. And may be from 1 5 BAR to 2 0 BAR. The two cases have the same DP, friction losses and fittings, but not the same maximum working pressure. Such as, example, the maximum pressure the chiller would see, if on the bottom floor, is approximately 900 feet, due to elevation, plus 140 feet, due to pump shut-off pressure, which is basically the TDH provided by the pump during operation and the shut-off pressure of the pump, for a total static pressure of 1,040 feet, 450 psi, per solution A. This would exceed the rated pressure of the described fitting slash chiller. If the chiller is on the top floor, solution C, then the total pressure the chiller would see would be 65 psi. This would be within the pressure rating of the fitting slash chiller. The pump is still contributing 140 feet to the pressure, but because of the difference in elevation, the static effect is much less. In this case you would specify fitting slash pipe with higher pressure ratings on the lower floors and decreasing ratings as you went up. You would locate the chiller at a level where the pressure does not exceed its maximum pressure. I hope that helps. Kindly subscribe my channel Offering Alley.